I forgot the Raptors won the championship. I did, I, I, cause I've been smoking a lot of Canadian weed, so it makes you. Uh, thank you for having me. And yes, I am now, uh, along with my wonderful daughter, Tyler Milan, uh, I'm the CVO of Deuces 22. That's Chief Visionary Oracle. Um, I gave myself that title. She's the CEO. Um, listening to this panel was amazing because we've been doing this. Well, I've been in this, uh, what do they call it in Canada? The gray market. Um, I've been supporting the gray market with half my salary uh, <laughs> since 2000. Uh, we got involved and in this business three, four years ago. And it is amazing where it's gone from then to now. Uh, I was on stage three years ago at the ICBC in San Francisco. We now travel everywhere because we realize our input, our input helps move this along. And as much knowledge as we can share amongst one another, it, it's amazing. I've won four championships, like he said. I've never done it by myself. I've only done it with a team. So it may seem like we're going to be in competition here. We literally are in unity here because we are still illegal in California. We're still illegal in America. We still are in a situation where people are getting, I just talked to my friend here, right? People are in jail for 20 years, 25 years. New York just released 10,000 people on a state level. That means the state jail is $10,000 light, 10,000 people light. People are making millions and millions of dollars off of the backs of people who just wanted to smoke a joint, who wanted to be healthy. So I recommend and I will encourage you, everyone, if you're gonna be in this business, do not come into this business with the mentality of me, me, me. This, this weed is about us, us, us. The best thing about having flour is being able to have a community joint. Also herpes, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> is why we have four, four joints. So when somebody say, let me hit that, here's one for yourself. <laughs> right? Community around yourself. But I, I'm, I'm just being serious. Um, <laughs> but on that, on that thought, when we came up, the first place I smoked weed, uh, a lot of weed, was in 2000 here in Vancouver. I was doing a movie called The Ultimate Christmas Present. I bought some weed. I didn't know it was a lot. I just knew I could not go through um, TSA. So I had to smoke all of the weed and look at the water. I have seen things <laughs> that I have never seen before. And I was like, I need more weed. Uh, to the point where I recommend this to my children. I recommend that they smoke. I caught one of my daughters with a, a vape, and it was nicotine, and she was trying to be all cool and hide it. And I was like, I got CBD vape. If you're going to vape, vape this. Now, somebody would say, but you should have told her not to vape. No, she's already proven to me she's going to do what she wants to do and how. It's my job as a parent to give a healthy alternative to the other. This is, this is what it is. In Colorado, alcohol has dropped 30%, right? DUIs have gone down. The cops can't sit around and pull you over. They can lean in your car and say, do I smell marijuana? I don't know what you smell. <laughs> I can't answer that question. I mean, things are at a total disconnect from the old way. The fact that he just told me that the person in charge of regulation in, Cal in, in Canada was a, a, a chief of police, that's, that's ridiculous. That's almost as ridiculous as having sex ed at church. You just, that just, you're not going to, it doesn't make any sense. They're going to tell you not to, unless you're Catholic, they're going to tell you to have as many to bring back to the church as possible. But, <laughs> and come tell me your creepy stories. Anyway, <laughs> go back over that again. All right, enough of the jokes on Catholics. Uh, and I'm just joking, kinda. Uh, <laughs> this, is the, this is the spot. This is the place I'm glad no one got up. Everybody that comes after, 
I, I want you to pay attention because there's so many avenues, just so many ways we need to touch. I live a plant-based diet uh, with my family, my daughter, we're vegan, so we believe in every part of the plant. We believe in the, in the hemp plant, we believe in the sister of the cannabis plant, we believe in the tomato, we believe in the cucumber, the asparagus, all of that. We don't believe in murder of any kind, of any earthly. So if you, you don't have to be of that kind, but imagine how good it feels to have plants to nourish your body, right? That's why you see the strongest ox eating it. That's why you see the gorilla eating it. This plant is amazing. They just finished talking about the Kaz sisters out in, out in um, Palm Springs. We are, we are on the verge of living longer. I don't know if you know this, but we started living longer in the 50s and 60s with penicillin and some of the things that they put forth, ways we were going to eat. Then they started destroying us again with packaging and processing. It's back to that wave. Our wave now is back to nature. Our wave now is back to enhancing you as a human. This plant does it. This is a wonderful place to be. I am ecstatic. I met some wonderful people from New York, Jackie and her crew, literally here to get information to bring back to New York. More people doing that throughout the United States expands it. United States the richest country in the world, maybe not with all of its minerals, but with the minds, the thinking minds. The fact that when we get 25 states that say we're recreational, pretty soon they're going to drop and they're going to start thinking, which they're doing. They're going to start thinking of ways to take it over. They just told the young lady here to stay in the gray market, keep knocking on the door, keep pushing it. I don't recommend you go to jail. Uh, <laughs> it's not a lot of fun, so I hear. <laughs> so I hear, and if you don't like gray all the time, you don't want to go to, you know, only thing bright is the suit. You don't want to go that. And I'm going to be smoking weed outside going, you shouldn't have listened to that motherfucker. <laughs> uh, so the cool part is, uh, this is an industry, as we said, we are in the beginning stages. It's up to everybody in this room to make this thing stay for the people. It's up to us to make sure they don't bastardize it. Make sure they don't make it such a chemical that you forget that you are smoking this wonderful healing plant. It, it is important that we stand for all of these things that help us as a race, human race. Then we might not destroy other earthlings. We might not think of the worst thing. We might not want to go to war. Imagine smoking weed and just sitting back and going, I don't like you, man but I like you a little bit better now. That's what this plant does. This plant opens up parts of your brain that you don't have closed by restrictions. You don't have closed by hate. You don't have closed by programming. This helps you deprogram. This is a plant that helps you become the best human you can possibly be. All right, anybody got any important questions? Let's hear it one more time for John Sally. If not, one love. That's it? Oh, all right. John Sally, everybody, one more time. Fantastic. Cannabis is great.